Hey, this is Lewis for Breakdance, and in this video, I want to walk you through the built-in performance optimization options included with Breakdance. You'll find those at Breakdance Settings Performance. The first one you'll see is Gutenberg Block CSS. Now, if you're not using Gutenberg, there's absolutely no reason to let WordPress load this CSS. However, WordPress and Gutenberg loads 11 kilobytes of CSS, even if you aren't using Gutenberg for your pages. So if you're designing all of your site with Breakdance, you definitely don't need this. Check this box. Um, XML RPC pingbacks. Uh, you know when you get that like pingback spam on your blog post? You see pingbacks and trackbacks when you're looking at a blog post, and it's just from some site you never heard of. Uh, pingbacks were kind of a popular thing way back in the day, in like 2003 or 2006 or something, but now they're just a place for spam, and that's basically about it. So... I'd highly recommend disabling these as well. There's no reason for it on 99.999% of websites. Next up, WordPress emoji. Back in the day, browsers didn't support emojis out of the box, so WordPress provided 10 kilobytes of JavaScript that would handle emojis. However, nowadays, modern browsers do support emojis. I mean, not even modern browsers, old browsers. There's no need for this JavaScript. It's a relic of the past. WordPress was originally built a long time ago. They like to maintain backwards compatibility, but nowadays, you certainly don't need this. So check this box, disable it. Um, dash icons. WordPress loads its admin panel icons for all users, even when they're... It, it, doesn't, it doesn't make any sense to do that in 99% of cases. Those admin panel, all these icons you see, this little this W icon, this home icon, this refresh icon, comments, plus all these icons, these are loaded. But they only need to be loaded for the person logging into the WordPress admin panel. So... Highly recommend you disable that. It's not needed. Um, OEmbed. This is an interesting one. Um, WordPress will automatically turn the URL to a YouTube video into an actual embedded video. It will automatically turn the URL of an embedded tweet into, or the URL to a tweet into an embedded tweet. So that's a nice feature. However, if you're not putting YouTube URLs or tweet URLs or other things that support OEmbed in your blog post, there's no reason for this. However, um, I do find very commonly, I do paste in tweet URLs, YouTube URLs, etc. into my blog posts, and I do like that it automatically converts them to the video, so I usually leave this on. However, if you don't use it, then there's no reason to leave it enabled. You may as well turn it off. RSD links. This is something from almost 20 years ago, uh, back when people were publishing their blog posts from like a desktop app. Uh, nowadays just disable it. You don't need it. Windows Live Writer. That's that's another thing that's included in your HTML code, but this was an application that was end of life uh, a decade ago. So you don't need it. Disable it. Um, WordPress has a REST API, and it puts some metadata about that in your HTML code. This is not necessary for anything unless... You want your site to be somehow accessible through the REST API, which in 99% of cases, you do not, so you may as well just disable it. Um, WP Generator Meta Tag, this just adds something saying your site was built with WordPress to your HTML head. There's no reason not to have it, but it's, you know, I like 90 bytes of data. There's no reason to have it either, so you may as well disable it. I do. Remove short link. Um, this is not necessary, so... You just disable it. Um, relational links. WordPress will place uh, metadata in your HTML head for the previous and next post. And maybe if someone's reading your blog through some kind of blog consumption application, uh, then they might want like a way to have that previous and next post data in there. But if you're building a website for like a business or online store, anything like that, don't need disable. Um, RSS feeds. So... WordPress uh, originally was blogging software. If you're using it uh, to run a blog, you probably want to keep the RSS feed. But if not, if you're just building a business website or a store, you don't need this. So you may as well just disable it. So usually this is what my setup looks like. Check every single box except the OEmbed box. And if you're building a new website with Breakdance, I'd advise you to just check every single one of these boxes. And if you find you need any of this stuff, you can uncheck the box. But I mean, there's a one in a million chance you will. You probably won't, except for the yellow bet. Okay, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and thank you for watching.